Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. We're rolling out part 2 of our hit series on amazing kid activity ideas for toddlers. Thank you for the overwhelming support on part 1. Get ready for another round of fun and creativity. Here is a fantastic activity that Omar absolutely loved. The ball on tape game. I taped a zigzag pattern on the door frame and I gave Omar a basket of balls. His mission was to throw the balls onto the tape and watch them get trapped like magic. After the fun, we worked on his hand-eye coordination by using kitchen tongs to remove the balls and placing them back in the basket. This is definitely an engaging and skill-building activity for toddlers. Continuing the fun, we switched gears with a cupcake pan challenge. He had to use a spoon, like somewhat like a scoop, to transfer the balls from the basket and uh, he had to aim for each cupcake depression inside the pan. I then taped the balls inside the cupcake pan and I handed him a pair of scissors and he had to rescue each trapped ball by cutting and freeing them from the pan. Next up, we have the drop paint in the basket challenge. I drew colorful baskets on paper and placed that paper inside a plastic bag. You can understand how to do this activity by seeing this video clip. Yes. Now, drop the red paint in the red basket. Which is the red basket? Mm. Yes. Since the paper is safely tucked inside the plastic file bag, a quick wipe with tissue paper easily takes care of any paint mess. Hmm. Green. Time for the exciting ball balancing game. So using washi tape, I created a straight and zigzag line on the floor. With a cardboard roll as a balancing beam and plates on each end, Aisha and Omar uh, had to walk the line carrying balls in the plate without dropping any. I adjusted the difficulty level for both the kids. For Omar, I used plates with edges to make it a bit simpler. While for Aisha, I opted for flat plates adding an extra layer of difficulty to her balancing act. The next activity is something that I really enjoyed preparing which is peel the tape activity. I used these very beautiful looking washi tapes. You can use any uh, sort of colorful tapes, whatever you have. It should be colorful, but... So I took the kid's drawing board and arranged the washi tape in a snowflake pattern. Folding the ends of each tape makes it easy for Amar to peel them off. His task was to peel off the topmost tape in the colorful snowflake pattern following the order. You can understand better by seeing the following clips. Here's the entertaining cup drop activity. I set up barriers on the table and placed cups at one end and handed Omar lightweight balls. His mission was to blow or slide the balls into the cups. As the fun continued, I introduced his favorite cars, turning the activity into a rolling adventure. Watch how this simple game captivates Omar's attention in the video. Go! Good job! Go! Okay. Oh, it's okay. Try the next one. <laughs> Coming up is a water shoot activity. For this, I set up a kitchen tissue roll on the table. I cut them in different lengths. Them. 
I then asked Omar to keep the ball on top of each tissue paper roll. Armed with a water spray gun, Omar's mission was to shoot and knock down the balls. This was a very fun activity, even I enjoyed doing this. This activity really kept Omar engaged for a long time. After every activity, I encourage Omar to clean up the mess or put everything back in its place. It's a great way to instill the importance of cleaning up after play and uh, bringing a sense of responsibility. But I'll be honest with you, Omar doesn't do this cleaning all the time. On the day of these activities, he was excited about what was next, so cleaning up was part of the fun. While he helps sometimes, there are days when he's not in the mood and I don't push it. Next up is the matching cup activity. Using colorful papers and cups, I created a fun matching game for Omar. Each cup had a circle cut out with a corresponding colored handle. So Omar's task was to match the cups by placing the one with the handle over the one with the matching colored circle. You can understand better when you see the video clips. Matching blue and more. Yes, good job. Okay, great. This activity was a bit tricky for Omar in the beginning. It took some time for him to understand how to play this, and he was not sure of some of the colors. But by the end of the activity, he was mashallah doing so much better and he could recognize the colors well. Here is a favorite for mess free creativity, the glue gun painting. I use a glue gun to draw patterns um, like this rocket. And uh, the kids can use watercolors or uh, brushes to paint within the glue lines. Today I gave Omar uh, markers. This is mess free and provides a neat way for them to color inside the lines. Okay, I want to be honest with you guys. Let's keep it real. I am not a perfect parent who always does these activities for the kids and spend a lot of time with them. These activities are something that I do when I'm in a good state of mind, not all the time. I don't want anyone feeling pressured or uh, low of themselves. We are all in this together and it's okay if you don't do these things all the time. Parenting is a journey, not a constant performance. Just be kind to yourself. So that's Omaru's beautiful uh, coloring. I think he did a good job. I like the imperfection in this uh, coloring actually. It looks, it looks really good. Wrapping up with the charming flower gluing activity. I drew a flower and cut out leaves and petals. I gave him a glue stick and his task was to place each leaf and petal in its designated space on the picture. It's a simple way to explore creativity and fine motor skills. That's all in this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you haven't seen the part 1 of this video, please check that out. There are another 10 activity ideas. I'll post the link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching.